Welcome back to the Tech Talk Podcast. I'm your host, and today we're diving into a fascinating topic that many of you might not have thought was possible, using your Apple device as an access card in systems that rely solely on UID authentication. If you've ever tried to get your iPhone or Apple Watch to act like a key card, you know it can be a frustrating experience. So let's break it down. First off, let's talk about the challenge at hand. As many users have discovered, the world of NFC, near-field communication, is quite closed off, especially for Apple products. Unlike Android, which might let you play around with different settings, Apple has placed some strict guidelines on app developers and access systems. This has left many of us scratching our heads over how to make our devices work as access cards. Why is that, you ask? Well, the technology can be a bit restrictive, and widespread support for using Apple Wallet in access systems hasn't quite caught on yet. But there's good news. Recently, we're seeing some possible breakthroughs, thanks to cooperation between companies like Apple and various access system manufacturers, including names like HID and Kesey. However, before you get too excited, it's important to note that most of these solutions come with their own set of hurdles, including steep fees and a need for manual approval. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. There's a bit of a hack, if you will, involving a specific Chinese transit card brand, the China Tea Union. So what makes this card so special that it can act as an access card? Well, when you set it as your default card in your Apple Wallet, it alters the NFC behavior on your device. Instead of randomizing the UID, which is often the case when using other cards, it essentially becomes a fixed UID. This unique characteristic allows the card to work across various NFC readers as if your device was express transit enabled, just like Android devices. But hang on, this isn't exactly the perfect solution, and here's why. UID-only authentication isn't incredibly secure, and many systems don't support it. Plus, there's the challenge of needing permission from the system owner to have your UID added. In essence, even if you manage to get the China Tea Union card, it may not work with every access system out there. So if you're thinking, great, how do I get my hands on one of these China Tea Union cards? Well, there are a few prerequisites. You'd need a biometric travel document and a valid MasterCard or Visa. And here's a little tip. Be prepared for potential SMS verification issues. Many users have reported difficulties in this area, so keep that in mind before starting this journey. Now, if you're willing to navigate that maze, here's a quick rundown of the steps. Install the Alipay app, register, verify your mobile number, and set up a PIN. Make sure you remember your codes, because losing access would mean starting from scratch. Then you'll be able to search for NFC within the app, follow the onboarding instructions, select a card, and finally, your Apple Wallet will prompt you to provision the new card. If everything goes well, congratulations! You now have a card that can function as a magic access card. Now before we wrap up, let's reflect on a few key points. Using an Apple device as an access card is still a complex endeavor with many hurdles. Having the right tools and permissions is crucial, and even then, it hinges on the cooperation of access system owners. But the innovation we see emerging in this space is definitely an exciting development. As we conclude this episode, I have a thought-provoking question for you to ponder. With technology constantly evolving, how do you see the future of personal devices integrating with secure access systems? Will we reach a point where our devices become the go-to method for access? Or will security concerns keep these innovations at bay? Thank you for tuning in to Tech Talk today.